Hello, I'm Alexander Valoshin, and I'm from the 14th group of the second year of the pediatric faculty of Sarajevo State Medical University. Today, I would like to tell you about such a famous cardiac surgeon as Leo Antonovich Bakeri. Specifically, I want to introduce you why I did choose him, his scientific activity, and what contribution he made to medicine. So I'd like to start with an idea that why did I choose Leo Bakaria? At the beginning, I started thinking about the body as a whole, and then I thought, which organs are most often affected by diseases? And to my surprise, it was a heart. You can see it right here. Every year, heart diseases kill 300,000 people of Russia, and the most common disease is coronary heart disease. Therefore, I decided to choose a well-known person in this field and consider what contribution he made. So, who is Leo Bakaria? Leo Antonovich Bakaria was born in 1939 in Abkhazia. He is a Russian cardiac surgeon, a famous scientist and professor, the only Russian doctor included in the list of 100 best surgeons in the world. He is also a full member of a large number of international associations of surgeons, president of the all-Russian public organization named National Health League. Uh, in this slide, you can see he is at work and he receives a reward. Oh, uh, what contribution did Leo make to medicine, right? Bakaria has always been engaged in a lot of scientific activities. He conducted many experiments, including on animals in the laboratory. He modeled various heart defects and studied hemodynamic changes before and after treatment. He still operates on a huge number of patients with congenital and acquired heart defects and heart valves. The large area introduced in Russia for the first time was treatment with hyperbaric oxygenation not only in the intensive care unit, but also during transplants. He personally performed more than 200 inventations in the condition of the baro-operative. One of his most significant achievements was the surgical treatment of cardiac arrhythmias, in particular, uh, cardiac degeneration in congenital long QT syndrome. He also developed the main provisions of the problem uh, of surgical treatment of aneurysms of the ascending part and the aortic arc. He developed and implanted a transmyocardial method of, for the treatment of inoperable patients. He also became the founder of reconstructive operations for congenital heart defects. Uh, he also had a special center, a cardiology center. He performs uh, not uh, only six, eight operations a day, but he also tries to improve this center and patient's care. For example, he did a common database uh, for the entire medical institution where medical histories and necessary information about all incoming patients were uh, entered, uh, which uh, facu um, faculties, the work of doctors and other medical staff. In addition to the duties of the head physician and just a cardiac surgeon, he is also engaged in teaching. He laid the foundation of the Russian cardiac surgery school. You can see it in my slide for a long time had the Department of Cardiovascular Surgery of three Moscow educational institutions at once. Leon Antonovich uh, is also the editor of several medical journals. So let's get uh, to interesting facts. Uh, the first one is that um, uh, he also performed his operations in uh, pediatric cardiac surgery. His patients often become newborn babies for whom the operation is vital. 
uh, Bakere used many surgical methods of treatment of children for the first time in the world. The second interesting fact is that he has more than 2,000 open heart surgeries on his account. During his practice, he received a considerable number of awards and orders. Let me introduce you with the most important awards. Uh, he received a winner of the Lenin Prize for the development introduction of hyperbaric oxygenation. Uh, he became laureate of the USSR State Prize for his development into clinical practice of new electrophysiological methods of diagnosis. He became honored scientist of the Russian Federation. You can see all these rewards uh, on my slide. Uh, then uh, he received state prize of the Russian Federation in the field of science and technology for the development of main provisions of the problem of surgical treatment of ascending and rhythms and aortic arc. A reward of the government of the Russian Federation for the development and implementation of transmericardical method of treatment of inoperable patients and an order of Alexander Nevsky for his great contribution to the development of healthcare. You can also see them on my slide. So in conclusion, I'd like to say that Leo Antonovich Bakarev has done a lot of work in the field of cardiac surgery. He received countless awards and at the age of 82, he still works hard lives each day to the fullest and still carries out lots of different, difficult and interesting operations. He, his, was, his main goal uh, was and is to serve the sick. He thinks that when a patient agrees to operate on the heart, the surgeon becomes for him more than a father and a mother. He doesn't expect medals and commendations for his work because his main reward is the recovery of the patient. Thanks for your attention.